Frieza is a man not to be judged by his character, but his cynical outlook, his demeaning and tyrannical behavior. A character so maniacal that the mere expression he gives off makes you think evil. This is Frieza, the epitome of monstrous, a truly sadistic character born for the sole purpose of obtaining pleasure through others' suffering. This is why Frieza is the most terrifying villain in Dragon Ball Z. Frieza was naturally born gifted. He never really had to learn the virtue of sacrifice. He always had what he needed. This complacency was what shaped and molded Frieza into who he was. His warped perception on life is what the truth he knows is. Acting before reason and with the knowledge that he is supreme. This dogmatic credence is what makes Frieza a truly terrifying antagonist within the show Dragon Ball Z. For you cannot understand the motives of Frieza. He decides what he wants to do when he does it, unbound by the rules or guidelines of the universe. Frieza displays a mastery of understanding himself and his own free will. It's kind of fitting for an alien such as Frieza to possess practically no human traits, not even a single shred of empathy. For this very reason, he resembles a terrorizer taking action without any remorse or hesitation, even possessing manipulative and Machiavellian traits which he uses to get the upper hand numerous times throughout the show. Although the way Frieza is being described might make him appear two-dimensional and goal-orientated, he is actually much deeper than you would originally concur, epitomizing evil and acting solely by his actions, not the ones of morals. Makes him unjust, but to him, he cannot be judged for his actions, whether they are right or wrong. This is the confliction of ideologies that Frieza has. His own selfishness is an ignorance that allows him to be evil, not his want to be evil, but his subconscious complexities. This is the identity of Frieza. Without the tyrannical and cynical philosophical approach, he wouldn't be who he is, which is why he's meant to be this way. This is proven multiple times throughout Dragon Ball Super, where he's being convinced to turn good, but always just goes back to evil. Symbolic of Black Frieza. Another thing is the thirst for challenge Frieza has, seeking worthy adversaries due to his self-centered predisposition. It's the compensation for his actions, believing one should have all the power to themselves. Therefore, Frieza always possesses a slight bit of overconfidence, which breeds an irrational fear of someone stronger than him. These insecurities are what makes Frieza a much more interesting character. He has weaknesses and strengths just like anyone else, but you'd think he was a cold, calculated character acting only off justified logic. This is exemplified by his fear of the Saiyans and threatening his power, his ego and ideology. Frieza outsmarted them by eradicating them, however did not expect the escape and survival of some. Frieza blowing up planet Vegeta only further rectifies his status as a straight menace within the show, making the reunion between Frieza and the Saiyans so much more meaningful as his hatred for them and likewise for the Saiyans. He literally makes the perfect antithesis for characters like Goku and Krillin. Frieza's intelligence is also something to wonder. He's capable of strategically manipulating to get his way and actually uses his brains in fights against the protagonists. As he possesses the ability to breathe in space, him blowing up Namek represented his affinity for quick thinking. The only thing was that the pacing of the show royally screwed him over there. And in all honesty, you can truly observe the cold nature of Frieza with the interactions he has with the other characters of the show. For example, with Vegeta where he literally crushes his pride, with Krillin numerous times calling him bald one and especially with Goku calling him a monkey. And one of the funniest scenes ever made in Dragon Ball Z history is when Frieza's intelligence meets Goku's stupidity. Like there are so many facets to Frieza's character that make him a unique villain. He isn't just evil, but multifaceted to the point where his identity revolves around his own actions. His own fulfillment is positively caused by his own narcissistic nature. His thought processes, even blowing up planets, is a direct testimony to this fact. Frieza's destructive prowess cannot be understated, as well as having some of the most devastating attacks within the show. Death Beam, the Sorcerers, and Supernova are but one of a few of his most awesome attacks which leads on to his forms. Each new transformation Frieza uncovers represents some sort of interaction of himself. For example, Frieza's fifth form symbolizing pure evil incarnate and intelligence, 
the closer Frieza gets to his final form, the more like himself he becomes, which also segues into his potential. Possessing the natural battle prowess, he can obtain pretty much universal level power just by training for very short periods of time. However, the only problem is that Frieza is an egomaniac who psychologically cannot handle the fact that he needs to get better. But once Frieza came to the realization of humility through the absolute amazing development he's had as a character throughout the show, he ultimately learns golden and now black forms respectively. More on his development as a character, Frieza unironically is one of the most fascinating characters in the show as he goes from unable to even fathom himself losing to accepting his own inadequacies and learning from them as time goes on. This learning mentality is adopted by Frieza as he continues to lose and therefore the more he is lost, the more humble he actually becomes in a sense, which made him much more powerful as an opponent. But not just that, made him a character who has so many intricate layers and depth. Overall, Frieza is by far the most frightening and evil character in the show. But despite this, he isn't just your run-of-the-mill villain, but a character who has so much more to give. His traits, personality, interactions, and overall ideologies are what give him this terrifying impression. Not because he seems evil or just does evil things for the sake of it, but because of who he truly is. And that's why, if not, Frieza is the most terrifying character in Dragon Ball Z. If you really liked the video and want to see more, don't hesitate to subscribe, comment, and like as always. And peace.